Oh, well. Greece treats newlyweds who smuggle diamonds. How many times do I have to tell you we didn't smuggle anything? You should be more grateful. We could have thrown you in jail. See that this couple is not allowed off the plane. Adieu. Joe, we can't leave here without finding me. We're not leaving Greece without our son. Wow, how are we going to do that? Bail out of 20,000 If people? that's what it takes, I would do that and more. His pulse is up to 170. God, I hope his heart can take it. Oh, I didn't know he had one. It's buried, but it's in there. Look, he's the only one who knows how this epidemic started, and we have to find a way to recreate his experiment. Did you find any leads on the computer? No, the ADC booted me off. They'll sterilize the equipment and then start again on their own. Let's hope it's not too little too late. Well, you live with Chris. Do you think we could find some clues at his apartment? I don't think so. You know, I've never seen anything, and I know he prefers to work here. Excuse me, doctors. You'll have to exit the floor. I'm shutting down the east wing. Wait a minute. Isn't the whole hospital exposed? Well, luckily, this wing has a self-contained ventilation system. We need everyone who's been exposed to go to the ER. Well, let's go. There's nothing else we can do here. Dr. Brian Rosner, yes. the vascular surgeon. Karen, what's up? He's unconscious. I need to get some DL-56 for Frank. Your experimental drug? Yeah. Frank has been using it without my knowledge. Wait a minute. I thought what? he was clean. Chris has been giving it to him on the sly. So not only is Frank under attack from the flu, but he's headed for full-blown withdrawal. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Drug withdrawal could decimate what's left of his immune system. The virus would take over. Which is exactly why I have to have Chris tell me where I can get a dose. Wait, you want to get Frank an unapproved drug? I don't want to, but this is a desperate situation. Now, Kevin, I'll understand if you feel you have to notify the hospital administration. Like you said, it's a desperate situation. Thank you, Kevin. Karen, he can't help you. He's too out of it to be of any use. Then I'll shake some sense into him. Come on, Chris, you wake up. Wake up, you have Karen, to tell me... Karen, 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 it's no use. His temperature's over 104. Then I'll find him myself. Dr. Pegra, 5542. Come on. Dr. Pegra, 5542. This lab is off limits. My name is Dr. Wexler. There's some medication in here that's critical to the health of one of my patients. Not anymore. As you can see, this lab is being empty. Well, where did everything go? To sterilization. Or incineration. Everything Dr. Ramsey handled is considered contaminated. Settled in, see if I can't get anything more out of him, all right? Dr. Harmon, yes. could you look at this chest x-ray? Yes. Look at this place. I've never seen it so full. The cases have multiplied just since we went to the lab. This virus moves at an unbelievable speed. Ellen. Ellen. She collapsed a little while ago in Lucy Coe's room. I always knew that girl it took me to death. Yeah, you and me both. Let's get her in five, please. There's three in there already. Well, let's get it on the hall. You need to start an IV ASAP. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. I just spoke to Ellen. It seems like a few minutes ago she was fine. I better go check on Lucy. Of course. Uh, I'll stay around here and see what I can do. All right. Dr. Collins, Dr. Perry has asked me to draw a blood sample from you to find out why you're not coming down with any symptoms. We already have a sample from Dr. Lambert. All right, lead on. Right. I'll see you later. All right. Karen, how's Chris? He's still unconscious. I wish you could wake up and see the misery he's caused. I understand he invented this thing. Listen, I know he screwed up royally, but he never intended to hurt anyone, okay? I'm gonna go see Lucy and Scott. Do you wanna come with me? I gotta check on Frank. Why did they shut down the lab right when I needed to get in there? Listen, maybe it's for the best. If the ADC can get a handle on this virus, maybe they can find some way to stop it from spreading. It's not gonna help Frank. His immune system is gonna crash if he doesn't get DL-56. So what are you combining my virus with? Oh, uh, just a little solution I cooked up. Come on, Ramsey, why are you being so evasive? What's the mystery drug? All right, look, don't tell anybody. It's natural ingredients. 
Echinacea, golden seal, that kind of thing. Hey, listen, if that stuff works, I will pay you big bucks to inject me. No, 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 no. Never test on humans. In fact, I'm gonna mark this one with a big old no-no label. Tell me everything you know about this virus and tell me now. I already told you. I took a culture of your throat when you were sick. It's the Nepal flu. Right. And you exposed it to something you cooked up to cure the common cold? Yes. I mean, just a couple of harmless ingredients. Nothing dangerous. But the mixture didn't kill the bug. Instead, it caused it to multiply at an alarming rate. So this is what Frank has? The Nepalese flu on speed? I guess so. Look, I mean, it'll probably just it'll burn itself out in 24 hours. Wait a minute. Right before Chris collapsed, he was trying to tell me about a secret formula he was working on. He mixed it with my flu virus to try and see if it would take it out. You think he mixed the virus with DL-56? How many secret drugs could he be working on? Sorry about the accommodations. The cubicles are all filled. It's my favorite hallway. Look at the pretty ceiling tile. <laughs> There's no privacy if I want to flirt with you, though. See, I knew if I pretended I was sick, I'd get some quality to LC. <laughs> You've got all my attention. I, I've been working on a vaccine or an immune booster to beat back this flu. Yeah, the ADC is working on it as we speak. Good. So many sick. <laughs> no, don't don't try to speak. Don't try to speak. <laughs> shh, 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 shh. Ramses should be hung for unleashing this thing. Where's Karen? She's coming. When? I don't get steel 56, I'm gonna die. No, you're not. All right, I won't let you. I'm glad you're not angry at me for telling her. I can't hold on much longer, Lark. Yes, you can. You have to. Sorry it took so long. Thank God you're here. Did you get it? There's nothing to get. The ADC closed the lab. Oh. This is from Chris. He, he must have some stash somewhere. Chris is too sick to help us. I'm going to die if I don't get it. No, you're not. Frank, we're doing everything possible. Frank, listen, I need some information. Do you know if Chris was experimenting with DL-56? He altered the formula. He was trying to get rid of the aggressive side effects. How? He didn't say. Obviously, it didn't work. Karen, you've got to make me a batch of the original. Frank, I can't. I destroyed my notes. Can't you reconstruct it from your memory? Well, I do know some of it. The DL-56 is, is it made of dozens of chemical you have, you have to recreate the formula. There's no other way. Frank, I'm doing everything I can, and I promise you. Wexler. Karen, how's Frank? Hi, Mary. Uh, well, he has a fever and he's having some trouble breathing, but he's stable. Um, look, I'll call you if there's any change, okay? Are, are you okay? Uh, I'm hanging on to sanity with my fingertips, but Victor's coming over to wait with me. Oh, how's Kevin? He'll want to hear news about him. Well, gosh, Kevin's so healthy. He's Having his blood taken by the ADC. Good. At least one less person to worry about. You know, that I'm actually happy Joe is overseas with Courtney. I never thought I'd say that. Well, yeah. At least he's safe. Um, Mary, have you heard from him? No. Probably too busy busting down doors to get to his son. They're starting to load luggage and refuel. This plane is taking off soon, Joe. I am thinking. 
If they make me leave, I will come back one way or another. I will swim if I have to. We are not to. going all the way back to New York. We're getting off this plane. How? The immigration police are out there and they are watching for us, Joe. We'll figure out something. Okay, wake up now, Chris. Quit playing possum, okay? It's time to wake up. Has he been responsive? No, he's septic. If his saturation level drops any lower, we'll intubate him and put him on a ventilator. I have to take this. All right, now you listen to me, Chris. You have got to wake up. If you wake up, I'll let you watch football all you want. I promise. I'll even let you, I'll let you drink beer and eat pretzels. I'll buy them for you. Come on, buddy, you've got to wake up. You can't leave me like this. What's with the syringe? Just a little phenylalanine for our fine friend here. Phenylalanine? Are you crazy? It's a small dose. We need to get some information out of him. I don't care. He's sick. What if his heart can't take it? Eve, there's an ER full of people out there who could die because of what Chris did. Ellen's getting sicker by the minute. That doesn't make it right. Right? Look, don't tell me about what's right. If Chris cared about what's right, he wouldn't have been doing whatever the hell he was doing in that lab. Chris got us into this mess. He owes us some answers. I will not let you do this. I'm not asking your permission. Matt, don't! It's done. Hey, what's going on in here? Matt lost his mind. He just gave Chris a shot of phenylalanine. Matt, what are you thinking? Okay, if you're in the hospital, okay, you're, you're okay. It's okay. You're Chris, in the hospital, Chris. Chris. Chris, Chris. Listen, where are the notes for the culture that created the virus? My, my cassette recorder. That's already broken. Where else? The computer. Where? Um, what file? Come on, Chris. People are really sick. What file? It's a hidden file called Phantom. And a document marked... Pipe Dreams. It's locked, though. It's locked. Well, what's the password? Passwords. Roller coaster. Okay. Roller coaster. Listen, Chris, you have to level with me. Did you mix my virus with DL-56? Uh -huh. Wanted to see if it would kill the virus. Well, that's bioengineering at its worst. Get out now. Let him get some rest. Fine. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Dr. Perry here. This is Dr. Wexler. I have more information on the virus. It was cultured in an experimental compound I used to work with called DL-56. It must have mutated in the lab. Great news. Yeah. Look, the formula is in that computer you took away to be sterilized. If you can access the file, I can take it from there. Do you, do you speak English? A, a little. In high school. Uh, there's no fa You want uh, the meal now to eat? Yeah, uh, I was just checking to see if you had my vegetarian, no salt meal all ready for me. I gotta watch my blood pressure, you know. Uh, thanks. ability of the American dollar to leap over language barriers. What could you possibly want from him? Extra dessert? His cooperation. Here he comes. He is cold. You, you take. Thanks. Pretty smooth, huh? Just got ourselves hired as caterers. Oh. Oh, you're a genius. I know. Okay, listen. Gotta go get changed, okay? Yeah. Dr. Perry for radiology. Dr. April Perry for radiology. Ellen, I'm not telling you again. Stop chugging your IV. Nurse, we need a saline refill there. I'll pay you to slip a nice latte in there. I'm 
so thirsty. You're burning up, that's why. I've been called out before. Not on the job. You're not on the job, so it's okay. Well, I've got you treating patients now, huh? Mm-hmm. Shows how desperate they are. Why aren't you sick? I don't know. They just took some tests from me just to find out. How's Lucy? The same. I just stopped by her room. There's a whole flock of ADC doctors tending to her. Scott, too. I'm more useful out here, so I left. How bad is it? It's been better. I, I wish I could help. You did help. That's how you got sick. So just stay here. Let us help you, whether you like it or not. I don't. I don't care. <coughs> Dr. Collins, Mario, you shouldn't be up. I can't sit still looking at all these sick people. I feel responsible. What if it was my cooking? It wasn't your cooking. It's a virus. Now, come on, come on. I'm taking you back to your bed. I'll be back. Karen, I'm scared. What if he dies? Don't, How can don't change like that? It? Stop it. We're doing everything we can to help everybody in this hospital. It was my fault. I knew months ago that Frank was still on BL-56 and they didn't tell. If I had, maybe Chris wouldn't have the chance to experiment with him. Frank is responsible for you, not the other way around. Did you get it? Well, we found out where Chris had the formula for DL-56. It's on his computer, locked in a file. So you'd be able to make it? <laughs> I have to proceed cautiously with the DL-56. It turns out that the formula had something to do with this virus. Dr. Wexler, I printed out this whole damn file. It's huge. What the hell is this Ramsey been up to? Well, uh, we've been working on a project under the late Bennett Devlin. Can I? See those notes, please? I hope they make sense to you. They look like gibberish to me. I don't understand. These formulas don't look like anything of it. Oh, my God. They're in code. Oh, great. He had to be a security nut. Well, get him to decipher it. Chris is unconscious again. If we bring him around a second time, it will be lethal. So we're back where we started. Come on, what is taking so long? There is no room to move in here. This flight is almost loaded. I'm going as fast as I can. Courtney, you better hurry up before the flight crew realizes we're not in our seats. Excuse me, what do you think you're doing? Uh, you must leave now. We're taking off. I come out. Courtney, now, decent or not, this plane's about to take off. Hurry up. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. What is it with women taking so long in the bathroom? One of my staff will fax you the notes you need now. Any information you can provide will be most helpful. One of my associates at the FBI will help us try to break the code. Chris must have used some kind of alphabet code to transpose the amino acid sequence. I don't know what, though. You're familiar with the original drug. Well, yeah, I helped create it. Well, then you should be able to replicate it. In theory. You have my entire staff at your disposal. But I don't have my notes. I destroyed them. There are dozens of compounds that need accurate measurements. Many lives hang on your good memory. There is a patient in cubicle 7 in full arrest. There is a patient in cubicle 7 in full arrest. Mario! Please be Get a crash cart in here. Get a crash cart and pedals in here now. Any change? No. Pulse is racing, his fever's spiky, and his lungs are getting worse and worse. At least he's asleep. Pulmonary edema? It's rampant among those who are the first exposed. I'm amazed you can still stand up. Yeah, I'm too scared for Frank to be sick. Well, at least there are no new cases, and the virus has been contained at this hospital. <coughs> yeah, plus nobody has died yet. That's what's important. That's right. Could be worse. Yeah. I have bad news. Who? Mario. I'm sorry. Matt and I tried to save him, but we couldn't. He's dead. Oh, 
He's got a wife and kids. I know, it isn't fair. Oh my god. Frank's a thief. I'll no. get the enemy bag. Get oh, the car. No, 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 not Frank. No, this can't. No. Get out of the way. <laughs> Come on, Frank. Watch out. Frank. You fight this, Frank. Fight it. Come on, Frank. Come on. You fight it. Tomorrow, with all the people living in the Taylor home this holiday season, peace and goodwill are bound to go out the window on an all-new home improvement. Then D.L. is a man on a mission to save Christmas from neighbors who've gone politically correct crazy on the Hughleys, ABC Tuesday. Make your great escape to ABC.com, where Port Charles' countdown to a cure continues.